Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and we are back with um, more ideas for our junk journal idea book. And today is super, super simple. I'm gonna go through three different page layout ideas. And they're pretty basic. They're like when you're thinking about how, how do I want to put pockets on a page or tuck spots. And so I've gotten a few paid papers um, prepped that we're going to use. Uh, and one idea is to um, stagger or layer multiple like small pockets on a page. Okay. Now the thing about this one is you can, you can use any paper and I'll give you the measurements um, of mine, but you'll want to determine the size of yours based on the size of your journal, right? These are four by two, four inches by two inches, and I just cut them off of a piece of paper that I had. And you can, if you want to, just like whenever we make pockets, if you want to do a notch in there, if you want to, um, you know, decorate them, add other things, you can. But what I'm going to do is layer these. And what you want to think about is um, when you start then stuffing these with tags, um, journaling paper, pictures, whatever you're going to put in there, some of the pockets will get covered up depending on the size of the item. So like I looked at this one and I thought I really want to see this portion of the flower. So I'm putting it at the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to go through and stagger. So I like having um, in, in my journals different pages where I get to and like I said, there's all these little pockets because sometimes I have, you know, larger journal cards and things like that. But sometimes I have other small pieces of ephemera like um, tickets, um, stamps, you know, little things. And you could even make these even more shallow, right? Um, or I could have done like two that are, what did I say it was? <laughs> two inches. I could have done a couple that were only one or one and a half inches. So you've got lots of options. Um, but I do think it makes the page look nice having them coordinate. And I'm just kind of eyeballing where I'm putting them. All right. So let me grab my box of doodads and see if we can find just some little pieces um, to tuck in. So again, this one's tall, right? And this is what I meant by it might cover up a portion of the um, pocket above it. Um, this one is not quite as tall. And then we can even put in um, small things, right? Small, much smaller. Um, now these, if I put like a tiny little stamp, it would probably get lost in there. Even this small ticket, um, might, might get lost down in there. So it's up to you, you know, what you want to put in there. One fun thing about this is you can also like fill up the pockets with some fussy cuts. Isn't that cute with the little mice sticking out? Um, depending on, again, what you're using this for, you may want to think about like the top one. Do you want too much stuff hanging out? But it might be cute if this little card had a ribbon on it. That might be cute at the top of your journal. But um, you can, you know, start decorating the pockets. Uh, there's just so much you can keep doing. I'm going to cut off a word. This is from a kit I used quite a while back and I recognize it. It's one of Joey Carmaker's kits. Um, but see like right here, that would be cute to have the word journal. So I'll just put that on there. So this is one idea to kind of stagger your pockets but have multiples on one page, this orientation. Okay, so that's one idea. Now, and I, I just, I was kind of jumping around and sticking my ideas, um, wanting to use up pages that I had left a little bit that I haven't put anything. Okay, I don't have anything on this page. This page has a, um, where we put it around the page. I don't know if you guys remember that one. We did it around the page. So there is a pocket there, but we can put some pockets here on this side. So this time... 
I have squares. And I actually, for these, I need a double spread. So let's use this strip. So this is your super basic. Um, you can decide to install it near the center, um, the spine of your book, or you can put it on this side and then load here and things would tuck in or here and they'll come out this way. Obviously, I guess this strip is big enough. If you wanted to, you really could do it as a belly band. But if I add glue just to the three sides, I have this really large um, pocket. And sometimes what I like about this is then I can, of course, add add what I want. But depending on what, pa what paper it's on, you know, imagine if you have a, a place, you can have a lot of journaling. Um, to the right and then it's almost hidden um so that's fun now the other thing that i like to do with these sometimes and i'm going to do it with this one instead of just adding the glue to the three sides we're going to actually make it into two pockets so i'm going to eyeball what i think is about the center and put glue right down the middle. I could have done it in thirds and had three little pockets. You know, I think you get the idea of where I'm going with this. So it is sort of fun. You've got the illusion of maybe just a strip of paper here. But what is super fun now is I have two pockets. And I really like that. All right, so that's another great layout. Again, you could, um, you know, have larger items in there. You could journal here to the right, um, decorate the pockets some more if you want. So that's another idea. I think I'm going to, here, I'll use this strip of paper so we can get back, back to our ideas right at the end of the video. Sometimes I like to remember, go back over what we've done. All right, and I've got, I need a, a double spread. So let's go here. This is where we did an add a page. All right, this will be a good spread for this. My journal is getting very chunky, guys. All right, so again, now I have squares. And these are three inches by three inches. Again, make yours whatever size you want. Now, my thought with this one was I was going to do two on this side and three on the other side. I kind of like the idea of five. And for these, I think I do want to do a notch. Again, all of this is optional all the time, but I am going to notch these and I'm gonna, st I think my I think my hole punch will go through three layers. There we go. And then I'll use one of these to help make sure they all match. So that my notch is the same for all five pieces. And you can do whatever number fits on your page and that you like. But these, I'm thinking of making them, instead of the traditional top load pocket, I'm going to make them side load pockets like this that one there and that one there I kind of felt like these coordinated a little bit and this one here and these will be great for tags to slide right in and then we can journal in the center part of the page and I just think this makes a nice layout and um, again, the, the, the point of the idea book for me anyway is when I'm just feeling a little bit stumped on what I want to do, I can open up this book and go, oh, I haven't done little pockets like that in a while. Um, you know, um, or, oh, I could do um, an extended page or a gusset with a little um, fl flip out, you know, whatever, and not have to always be super creative. Um, and I like that. Now with the three, again, these are three by three inch squares, and um, you might wanna measure the size of your journal, the paper size, and then yours may need to be a little bit different size. 
right, I'm coming down close to the bottom because I want all three to fit. And if I go close to the top, I'm just making sure, yep, they're gonna fit. So I'm gonna do the top one next. And I'm not measuring, but I am paying attention to where I am on the page. And we'll do my best to have a similar, leave a similar little edge around the pocket. All right. Um, somebody told me in a comment that their idea book was getting super chunky and I'm like, mine is too, but they had come up with a, some type of ribbon or tie closure and I'm gonna have to think about something for mine as well. It's getting a little, a little crazy and I decided to just use this old notebook of mine and I've mentioned it has a really tiny you know a lot of my journals that I make have like two inch spines three inch spines and big chunky ones um, and this one has a really tiny spine so it's definitely not closing flat anymore all right now this one um, these may be too long, so I may not use them. But again, the idea is we will have some cute little cards or tags that will fit in here. And I don't know if I have anything pre-cut pre that's going to be the right size. But I think you get the idea. And again, on the edges, what could be fun is to... Um, I got a little bit of glue on there, okay. To have little ribbons or things, um, little tabs sticking out, that might be super fun for the edges. So, just gonna tear a piece of paper, put in there. Not that I have to have something in each one, but how cute is that? And you know, you really could coordinate the tags inside too, um, so that they look super cute as you are pulling them out. I think that would be a fun idea as well. But I didn't plan that for the video, so we're not going to do that. So that is three super fast, super easy ideas on page layout ideas with pockets. So um, I am a little obsessed with pockets. I think I've told you guys I'm on Never Gonna Have Too Many Pockets team or the club. So if you guys want to join me, um, decorate your pockets, um, make them look beautiful. You can have this. This is like the five side load mini pockets. This was four that I staggered on the page. And then this is just the one large that I split into two pockets here. All right. I hope you like the ideas. If so, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see me make. I hope your junk journal idea book is bringing you a lot of fun like mine is for me. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.